Welcome back to my channel, my crystal kings and queens. So, I am so comfortable right now. Um, I'm actually taking a bit of a break from my schoolwork right now and um, kind of just laying in the bed. But really, um, I wanted to make a video to address a few things. Um, I don't know if this like goes along the lines of the crystal myths or the inaccurate beliefs behind the crystals or just simply the misunderstanding that people take concerning crystals. So, um, gosh, I don't even know where to like start because it's such a like it's a sensitive topic however I feel like so many people are offended including myself because the kings and queens in the crystal community we have not a theory behind our crystals um, not so much a set belief, though some, you know, choose to believe certain things in regards to the crystals, others do not. But I guess what I'm simply saying is, concerning our crystals, there's so many people who are so quick to judge another, shun another, um, disregard another, belittle another, all because they think that the crystals we have are such evil things. No, they're not. I have no idea why people think this way about it. I mean, maybe it's because, you know, of the misuse of crystals. You know, everyone uses their crystals differently and the utilization of my crystals to another person's crystals could be completely different. However, um, I was in the crystal store um, the other day and talking to, you know, a few of the shopkeepers and they were saying, you know, when people come past the store, you know, some people walk in and then they'll turn right back around and think, nope, this is a metaphysical shop we don't need nothing to do with this it's time to go others she said will um try to anoint the store outside of you know the shop so they won't even walk in but they'll try to anoint it you know as though there's such evil spirits within it or you know just terrible um energies or, or something in the sh uh, in the shop and I just find that to be out, I wanted to say out sanely, outstanding, insane, or outstanding, insanely. That's weird. That's kind of stupid. Um, it's just insanely bizarre. I've never heard of such a thing. I've never, I don't understand where in any person's mind is it okay to belittle another person's practices, beliefs, or anything? There are a lot of belief systems out there that, you know, in my opinion, are just not good at all. But those opinions and thoughts I keep to myself, you know, unless they affect me. I have no reason to place my thoughts and opinions on another person's as though they should think the way I think. That's not the way... It works. That's not the way I do things. It's not the way I'm set up. So um, I currently or not currently, but I recently had an experience of my own. And, you know, it's crazy because some people think that the advice or their opinions is what's best for you. It's, you know, it's coming from a good place within their heart and stuff. So you should immediately jump to this you know, information that they're giving you and you should do things their way and whatnot. 
And so my experience with this is if it don't feel right to you, don't do it. I'm grown. You're grown. I don't have to do things the way you want me to do things. And for anyone to feel like what I'm doing is um, is a, a I guess, an, a hazard to my life or is, you know, dangerous to my spirit or what have you, then I'm sorry you feel that way. Sorry, not sorry. But the fact of the matter is I have my own personal journey. I have my own personal walk with God. I know, you know, and with, you know, I, I know who I'm connected to and what I'm connected with. I know my practices and what I do, you know what I mean? And they're not even necessarily practices because as a spiritual person, I pray, I speak with God, um, you know, my heavenly father. I pray over my crystals. I meditate, you know what I mean? And when I say I meditate, what I mean in my sense is, and I don't know if, you know, a lot of people have discussed or explained, you know, this to many or if anyone even sees it this way. But when I pray, I am simply discussing and laying out all of my issues before God. You know, I'm letting him know of all my burdens, all my cares, concerns, worries, stresses, just anything that I need released from me given to him. It's me speaking to God, me talking to God. When I meditate, that's me listening to God, you know, me listening for what it is that he wants to give me. What do I need to receive? What do I need to do? You know, I'm listening to him. So for people to feel like, you know, what I'm doing or what we're doing as a whole in the crystal community I feel like, you know, there's just such a, a huge misunderstanding. And to my knowledge, from what I've researched, from what I know, from what I've seen, crystals are all throughout the Bible. And, you know, I I don't necessarily read my Bible as much as I should. But, you know, when I do, I get deep in it and there's no stopping me after that. But crystals are mentioned all throughout the Bible. It's also, you know, one of the main things that made up the city of light in the book of Revelations or, you know, Jerusalem, the um, city of Jerusalem in the book of Revelations. So I'm just like, you know, how how do people feel like what we're doing is so wrong? Why do you feel that way? What I don't, you know, I don't even care. I don't even care. Point is. Those people that do feel like the crystal community should not be around, they're irrelevant. They they have no say. Your opinion has no leverage, has no weight. So I was going to just kind of leave the video at that. Um, going no further than letting all of the crystal haters out there in the world know that their opinions just don't matter. Us crystal kings and queens, we're doing fine. There's nothing wrong with trying to find peace and happiness and joy in the tangible things that are created by this earth, by God, or whoever that, you know, any of you think or believe created the crystals of the world. I am just grateful. I'm just thankful. I'm glad that there is something out here that I can actually connect with. There's so many things that I could be doing to, you know, suffice all kinds of emotions that I may have at one time or thoughts or, you know, wanting to say different things to people that I probably shouldn't at the moment, um, in which I don't, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good with taming my tongue. I'm not a disrespectful person, but don't try it because if you do, you'll get it 
that's just how that goes. But um, I'm just, I, I just, I guess this is just a message to the crystal haters out there. Don't, don't play with us. Like, there's, there's no need. It's unnecessary. If you don't like what you see, if you don't like what it is that we're doing, then stay away. As simple as that. Don't throw your opinions onto us just because you believe it's wrong. Show me proof. Give me proof is how I feel. And even then, depending on where I'm at in my stage of life, I may accept it or I may not. But at the end of the day, hold on. My mom is um, mom. Mom, I'm trying to record and you're like extra loud. <laughs> she doesn't even care. Oh, my God. But yeah, anyway, um, and I just lost my train of thought. So. Yeah. Um, oh, no. What I was going to say is, along with um, the comment earlier about the crystals being all over the Bible, even the high priest had to wear a um, had to wear a garment full of crystals you know and i feel like if if people even at the highest levels you know what i mean in religion or uh in the religion background or religious background like whatever either way like i just feel like stop coming for us crystal haters out there in the world just stop coming for us I don't know. My spirit is fine. I'm sure others out there, their spirits are fine. We're trying to, you know, <laughs> find, you know, little joys, just the simple joys in life that can help remove the stresses that you crystal haters out there in the world are putting out. We don't need you to add to it. So I'm just going to stop this video right now because, like, I didn't want to put out a negative video after being gone for a few days. Of course, you know, I'm doing schoolwork and stuff. But, you know, I'm just kind of fed up. And there's so much more that I could totally talk and discuss on. But I'm not going to do that because this video is already extra long. So thank you for watching. I love you all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed rest of your day.